Hey everybody, it's Disco Dean, and the question that I've been getting recently is, what is the difference between a small tire and a big tire? This here is a 28.10.5. This is a 17.16.34.5. So with small tire racers across the country, if you hear them racing small tire, is more than likely a 28 by 10.5 tire. No prep kings tire, like what we run on our big cars. This is a 34 and a half by 16 by 17. These rims 16 inches and 17 inches is the tread width. So you go across the top, you got a 17 inch tread width, go across the top of this, should be 10 and a half inches wide, 28, 10, five. So inflated, that'll be 10, five. Now, the other thing is the distance around here is 34 and a half to the top. And the distance here is 28 inches to the top of the tire when it's inflated. Now, the other big difference is the rollout. So that is the circumference of the tire itself. So as you can see, they got this one marked 88 inches. So if when you set this tire down and roll it one revolution, it rolls out 88 inches. These 34 fives, when you do that with one rollout, it's usually somewhere between 110 and 113 inches for every revolution. So that's the difference in between small tire and big tire. And look how much more power you can apply with one of these big tires to the ground than one of these small tires. So when you see us having to give somebody the hit, the brake, the clear, and explaining that is because somebody's racing with smaller tires compared to racing with big tires that can have more traction and go faster down the track. Disco Dean, Stinky Pinky, stay tuned in, Discovery Channel, Tuesdays, 8 o'clock, we out.